morning, Toros. I'm Ash. And I'm Aaliyah. And this is Toro TV. 1.5 million animals are euthanized every year in shelters. These needless deaths could be prevented if they had more supplies. That is why Skills USA has teamed up with the Humane Society to help. By dropping off food, blankets, or just some cash to room 312, the office or to our representatives coming Tuesday and Thursday during third hour. College admission reps are visiting Mountain View over the next few weeks. Weber State, Sarah Lawrence, UVU, Chapman University, GCU, Cornell College, Whitworth University, and University of Utah will be visiting. Meeting with the reps is a great way to learn about their school, popular majors, housing, life on campus, and get to know your questions answered about each school's application process. Stop by the Career Center for information on the dates and times the school will visit and to sign up for the visit. Passes will be... Mm. Passes will be provided for visits that are scheduled during class period. Attention girls interested in playing soccer. There will be an informational meeting after school starting at 3.30 on Thursday, October 24th in room 206. Here's, are you interested in Utah State University? The USU Open House is next week on Thursday, October 23rd at the Falls Event Center in Gilbert from, from 5 to 6.30 p.m. This is, a, this is a great opportunity to visit with the Admissions and Scholarship Office, learn more about the majors offered, financial aid, and scholarship possibilities. Don't forget your transcripts, ACT, or SAT scores because USU will be awarding academic scholarships on the spot to those who qualify. Students, don't forget the MPS District College Fair is next Monday, October 21st from 6 to 8 p.m. at Westwood High School. The fair will host exhibitors from over 100 universities, community colleges, and technical schools from across the country. You can also visit with other organizations that support post high school options. For seniors who still need to complete the free application for federal student aid, there will be a session beginning at 5 p.m. in the Westwood Compass Center. Financial aid representatives will be available to assist you and your parents in completing the FAFSA. On Sunday, October 20th, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., the Greater Phoenix National College Fair will be held at the Phoenix Convention Center at 100 North 3rd Street in downtown Phoenix. There will also be performing in Visual Arts College Fair at the same location on Monday, October 21st from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. College fairs are a great way for students to meet with college admission representatives from a wide range of post-secondary schools. Come into the Bullseye to get your spirit gear for next week. The 2019 and 2020 school year spirit shirt also has all sizes back in just for $15. All Mountain View hoodies are on sale in honor of homecoming through Friday, October 25th. We also have Mountain View hats, visors, socks, lanyards, shorts, and don't forget our foam hands are only $2. The store takes cash, check, and card if your purchase price is more than $8. The store is open from before school to the end of one. Fellowship of Christian Athletes will be having another meeting on Thursday, October 24th during lunch in room 824. One of our Mountain View Toro softball players, Amber Krause, will be leading our meeting, so come by and join us as we continue this journey with Christ. One, two, three, let's switch this up. Event. This year's proceeds will be benefiting Sunshine Acres. Classes will be competing against each other to see who can raise the most money per student. First and second place winners will be getting their own judgment party, which means a custom medium-sized drink of their choice. Third and eleventh winners will receive a Hertz Donuts party. From October 21st to October 24th, Marty students will be coming around to your first hour so you can purchase Spirit Link. And now here's a little more about our benefiting charity, Sunshine Acres. What's the mission here at Sunshine Acres? The mission here is to provide a loving home for children who are separated from their parents for one reason or another, and they can stay here as long as they need a home, even through college. Now, how many kids are you helping at this current moment? We have 60 at this uh, time, and also we have an independent program where that number fluctuates. We maybe have two or four or five in our independent program of children going to college. 
Now I look around at this property and I can see it's vast, a lot of different homes. The structure here is something that is a little different than other places. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, my parents found this 125 acres for $29,500. And all the time I was growing up, they wanted to have a children's home because they saw the children were moved from home to home. And they wanted to have a home and to provide everything that a child needs while they are here at Sunshine Acres. And so my parents bought this land in 1954, and we have cared for over 1,600 children during that time. Let's show our Toro pride and make sure to bring your extra dollars to your first hour, October 21st through 24th. Have a fantastic Friday. Please.